In this video, we're going to explore how we can output financial data in a business-friendly format. We've taken the time to conquer the weekly challenge number three, and now we have all of these financial data. We want to output them in a friendly format, so let's explore how to do that. I'm gonna drag a formula tool to the canvas, and I'm gonna add a new field. So we'll, we'll just call this a test format. We can leave it as a string for now. And we're gonna take a random field. Let's take this one, R, R6MOU non-IR. And we wanna convert that to a string because right now it's a number. Okay, we're gonna add these two parameters, two and one, and I'll explain what those are in a second. So let's run this, see what happens. So when I look at the output, I can see them side by side. So it looks like this two is rounding this to two decimal places, whether it has them or not. And you can see in these examples what's happening. This parameter, the one, it's not clear what that's doing just yet. Okay, we might have to find a larger example. So let's try a different field. Let's try this R6 months D non IR. We'll run that and we'll look at the output again. We can see now that there are commas here where appropriate. So we have three digits, then a comma, and some more. That's what this parameter is doing. It's telling Alteryx to format this and put commas in where appropriate. Now there's one thing missing. We still want a dollar sign, okay, because these values are in USD. So given that we're working with a string, we can just concatenate the two values, the dollar sign and the dollar amount. So we'll run that again. It looks like we're making a little bit of progress. The problem is that we wanna repeat this for, men, for all of these fields and we have many. So, you might imagine that this is gonna be quite tedious. Well, there's, there are a bunch of ways that we can do this more dynamically with less effort. I'm gonna show you one of the more powerful methods. So I'll get rid of this formula tool and I'll add a multi-field formula tool. Connect it to my join. And here it has a list of all of the numeric fields. So I'll click on all and I'll remove the year and the month. So we just have the financial data. And by default, the multi-field formula is gonna ask us to copy output fields. And we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna duplicate these. So we'll uncheck that. On the other hand, we do wanna change the output data type. And we're gonna change it to a string. The default size of two is too small. So let's Put in a random number here. It's arbitrarily large enough. And now we want to put that same formula that we were using before. And then in our field, we'll put in current field. So that's a special variable that's used in the multi-field formula. And this is a placeholder, which is replaced by each one of these different fields that are selected. Let's try it. And it looks like it's working in place, which is excellent. Let's modify it a little bit more. Okay, we wanna add the dollar sign. Let's add a browse tool. And then let's cache the workflow at this point, just so it runs a little bit faster. 
now you can see we've we've modified the values we formatted them in place with one tool so it's quite powerful and for sure these look much friendlier for an analyst i'd probably take it one step further from here because if we have some negative values we might wind up with something that looks like this negative one hundred forty three dollars and twenty three cents so maybe we want the minus sign to precede the dollar sign and instead of this example we might want it to look like this okay it's up to you if you want to take this next step we can do it quite easily so let's turn this into a conditional we can say if the current field is greater than or equal to zero, then we'll proceed with the formula we just made. On the other hand, if it's less than zero, it's a negative. So we'll take the same formula, except we'll put a minus sign there, and then we'll end this. So if we run it as is, it'll format it for us that way. Okay, one tool, quite elegant, and it works for as many fields as you want to input. And the way we've set it up is, is so that it replaces the values in place and we don't have to add more select tools and formulas and things like that. Thank you for watching.